Good morning, I'm Belle, welcome back to my channel. It's quarter to five on Tuesday morning. Um, I am still extremely jet lagged, woke up at like quarter past, half past three and I can't get back to sleep. So I've just decided to get up, do some washing, um, do some chores and bits and pieces. So um, today I'm gonna do a what I eat in a day video. I am weighing this evening, so I'm probably not gonna eat anything massively heavy at lunchtime, but I'll obviously show you what I eat as I go through the day. Um, I'm gonna have a proper breakfast at a normal breakfast time because I am trying to start to get into a, a better routine in terms of when I'm eating and stuff, but um, I'm really hungry because obviously I've been awake for a bit now. So I'm just having a blueberry and vanilla quark, which is a flavored quark. Um, I got this from Asda and it is half a sin. Um, and then I've got a mug of winter spice Ribena that I've made up with boiling water and a glass of water. Um, so I'm gonna eat this and then I'll have breakfast later at a normal breakfast time. Um, I'm also going to chuck some bits in the soup maker for um, soup for lunch. So I've just got one of these bags, which is the Asda casserole veg that I've shown before, but I got it in my Asda delivery. It's just got onions, carrots, potatoes, maybe leeks, something like that in it. And um, I'm gonna put a veggie stock melt in, stock gel thing in as well. Um, so I'm gonna chuck that in the soup maker with some water and let it do, it, let it do its thing. Um, and then I'll take that to work for my lunch a bit later. But anyway, I'll jump on later and show you what I'm having for my breakfast. So the soup is now cooked, it smells amazing. Uh, I'm now really hungry, so I'm gonna do some brekkie. Um, I'm gonna do some mincemeat baked oats. So I'm gonna use 40 grams of oats, um, which is my healthy B. I'm gonna use half a vanilla Muller Lite in the baked oats, and then I'll serve it with the other half, so there will be one sin, I think, for that. Um, I'm gonna use some cinnamon vanilla uh, skinny syrup, which is um, sin-free. Um, I'm gonna use two eggs, and then um, once I've stirred that mixture around, I'm gonna put it in a fry light spray muffin tray. I use a silicone one. And then on the top of, it will make four probably, and I'm gonna do half uh, uh, sin on the top of each one, which is one teaspoon on the top of each one. So it will just be for the uh, for the minced meat baked oats and the yogurt that I'll serve it with, it will end up being three sins, one for the yogurt and two for the minced meat. But I'll show you what it looks like once it's on the plate. So just while I wait for my baked oats to cook, um, which will be sort of 25 minutes, half an hour, I've just had a little bit of ham um, and I'm just gonna finish off the melon that I didn't finish the other night. And I've just made a caramel coffee with Kenko caramel coffee granules. And I have measured out 250 mils of um, semi-skim milk and I've got some of that in there. So just gonna have this to keep me going whilst I wait for brekkie to cook. So this is brekkie, I've got my mincemeat baked oats, which are just cinnamon, 40 grams of oats, two large eggs, and half a vanilla Muller light with a little drizzle of um, cinnamon vanilla skinny syrup. Um, and then I've got um, a teaspoon of mincemeat on the top of each one, um, which is half a sin per teaspoon. And then I have cooked them for about half an hour in a muffin, um, silicone muffin tray. Um, which I sprayed with fry light, and then I'm just serving them with the other half of the Muller light for another half a sin and um, a pear and satsuma for speed. So there are three sins in the whole thing. Um, and then I've just got a caramel black coffee. They smell so, so nice and Christmassy. I can't wait to try them. So my baked oats were absolutely awesome. I love, love, love them. I genuinely would choose them in a restaurant if they were on the menu. I think those mincemeat baked oats are so good. They were quite eggy with two large eggs in, but um, straight out the oven they were good. And uh, yeah, really, really enjoyed them. So um, this is what I'm taking to work for lunch and snacks today. I've got the veggie soup that I showed you that I made earlier. Um, I've got two satsumas which are a speed food, a pear which is a speed food, a baby banana which is a free food and a salted caramel hi-fi which is three sins um, because I've already used my healthy bee for the oats in my baked oats. So this is what I'm taking to work, if I have anything else I'll show you but um, I will jump on later and show you what I'm having then. So it's 20 past seven, um, my day today has been good, but even though those muffins were so, so nice this morning, 
I have been really, really hungry today. I don't know why. Um, I just, yeah, I was really, really hungry. So I ate um, a packet of hula hoop puffs this morning. I ate um, a couple of satsumas. I had a mini banana. Um, and then I had my soup. And then somebody suggested we popped out and we went to a tea room at lunchtime. And normally I would just think sod it and have a slice of cake, but I was like, and I was still hungry after my soup, which is a problem. Um, so I had a jacket potato with beans, asked for no butter and a little bit of cheese. Um, so I had that as kind of like a second lunch. Now, um, I'm sorry for that because I had a jacket potato um, at the weekend in my last video as well. But at this time of year, when I want a kind of on plan, um, easy meal when I'm out, jacket potato and beans is just kind of the most obvious thing for me to have. Um, in the summer I obviously have loads of salads but it's way too cold to be having salads at the moment so I'm sorry I'm repeating and ha uh, repeating what I've eaten at, in my last video but I had another jacket potato and beans at lunchtime today um, and then this afternoon I don't think I've had any snacks but I did just have a little mini banana um, after I weighed in at group um, anyway for dinner tonight I am having this which is the M&S um, chunky steak and gravy which is sin free um, it's really nice it's just steak and gravy but it's delicious um, and I'm just for my speed having uh, microwave carrots broccoli and cauliflower um, I would cook something a bit more exciting uh, but obviously it's 20 past seven already, I'm cold and I'm hungry and I want something to eat. So um, I'm gonna have this because it's a quick dinner and I will show you what it looks like on the plate. So this is tonight's super quick um, sin-free dinner. So steak and gravy is sin-free and then I've got the veggies for my speed. Um, the steak and gravy would be absolutely lush with like pasta or rice or mashed potato, but I'm too <laughs> impatient to wait for anything to cook. So um, this obviously has taken literally minutes to cook and I am looking forward to eating it. So I have this and then I'll jump on and show you what I have for my snacks later. So for supper tonight, I am just having a winter spice ribena that I've made up with boiling water. And then I've just got a little packet of dark chocolate Belgian, dark Belgian chocolate um, covered mini rice cakes. I think there's like four in here, maybe, no, actually six in here maybe, um, which is five sins. So I am finishing the day on 12 sins, which is five sins for these little chocolate rice cakes. Um, two sins for the mincemeat, one sin for the Muller Light, three and a half sins for the Hula Hoop Puffs and half a sin for the Kvarg that I had first thing having woken up at three o'clock or 3.30 or whenever it was this morning which seems about two days ago but it was actually this morning. Um, I used my Healthy Bee for my oats in my baked oats this morning and I used um, one portion of um, one of my Healthy A portions for um, the cheese on my jacket potato and I've actually only had um, I think two cups of uh, drink which have had milk in today but I'm counting that as my second healthy extra A. Um, I'm sorry today's been a bit boring I don't feel like I've eaten anything that exciting but um, hopefully um, you know people will still get some good ideas um, you know I, I would love to um, sort of make everything from scratch every day but just in the week that just isn't practical at all um so uh, i'm sorry it is a bit boring but um i hope you've enjoyed it anyway um i do really really appreciate your support i think um i'm really hoping to have a good loss next week when i weigh in a week's time so i think um the best way to do that is probably to record one of these every day so there may be a bit of repetition there may be some quite boring food but um i hope you still have some good ideas anyway um but you know we'll see how that goes but i think by recording these videos it definitely does keep me on track so um i hope that's okay with you if i do that um i hope you're having a great week um and i will see you next time in my next video thank you for watching bye